Hey trackers, I'm out here at the river, uh, at the edge of the river, which is down there, if the camera will focus. Um, but what's really interesting here is there are some cottonwood trees here, and the cottonwood trees have these huge vines growing in them. Now, the vine was up in the trees a couple weeks ago, and now it's down across this little trail here. And the reason is that the black bears have been here. So the vine is a California wild grape. And the grapes are ripening, or ripened, at the end of October. And uh, all during the month, this was a food source for the bears. So what you see right here, there's a cluster of grape vines that have been pulled in towards the trunk of the tree. And uh, So this is backlit, it's not going to show it very well. But you can see a broken branch up there on the right and you can see the cluster of the vines that have been pulled in towards the trunk of the tree and what happened there is this is what we call a bear nest so it's not a nest that a bear uses to uh, sleep over the winter or anything like that a bear nest is essentially a place in a tree where the bear has pulled branches toward itself eaten the fruit off of them and then stand they push those underneath themselves and stand on them and there are claw marks on this tree, which unfortunately, because I'm backlit, the camera won't show them very well, that indicate the bear climbed the tree. Um, so the bear was up there, pulled the, the grape vines toward itself, fed upon the grapes, and then stood on the vines that it was done with. There's a bunch of broken branches up there. I'll try to get still pictures. Maybe they'll come out a little better than this backlit camera. But look also at this tree, and I'm going to zoom out slightly. So right up here you see a cluster of the wild grape vines that have been uh, brought towards the trunk of the black, uh, the black cottonwood and the bear fed on all the grapes in there and then stood on the vines to make a platform that it stood on to pull in even more. There's a bent branch to the right and broken off near the trunk which I hope you can see on the, on the video. and. Uh, copious bear sign here. So they've been feeding on those. Um, those two trees have bear nests. This one that's closest to me um, hopefully is not as backlit and maybe you can see it. Um, so a broken branch right there. This is the cluster of, of grape vines that were pulled into the trunk of the tree which the bear stood upon after it fed on them. Uh, here's the broken branch right here. Coming down here, there's another branch right here that was broken when the bear climbed either up or down the tree. So up above, you can see another one on the opposite side of the trunk there, broken branch here. And again, all the um, wild grape vines were pulled towards the trunk of the tree, and then that's where the bear fed on them. This one over here on the right still has some grapes on it that are not quite ripe yet. So it is possible the bears will come back and feed on those if they um, have decided that there's still some food left out here. And they can smell that. That's a sweet smelling grape. And bears have an excellent sense of smell. So they're able to smell that. And they'll probably come back out here and eat them later. So this is a bear nest. It's a sign that you find in fruit trees, um, nut trees. And in this case, it's a cottonwood, but the cottonwood allowed the bear to access the grapevines, which were growing all over the cottonwood tree. And the bear was able to eat those delicious fruits. Now the fallen vine right here, I don't know if that just fell because um, it got detached up above when the bear broke off the branches that were attaching it to the cottonwood, like right here um, and right there. Kind of at that bump right there, there's a broken off branch. So that's possible. The other possibility is that the bear tried to climb out on the vine. And because of the weight of the bear, it just collapsed it. And that's possibly what broke off those branches as well. Um, I can't tell because it's at least five feet over my head. I can't get up there to look for claw marks on it, which would help me to tell if that's what happened. But that's um, one possibility. You just saw a raven in the tree right there. Ravens also eat these grapes. Um, so note that there's a branch right here, which goes over there and is broken off as well. So it's either the weight of the bear on the 
the grapevine or uh, the climbing activity of the bear that knocked that down. But there are several bear nests here that you can see. Um, there's a lot of brush here between me and that trunk, so it's a blackberry bramble. I'm not going to go climbing through that to see if there's any claw marks, but I thought you'd enjoy learning about bear nests and their purpose as basically a feeding platform for black bears. And in this case, it's a black bear feeding on wild grape by climbing cottonwood trees in which the wild grape vines had been growing. I also wanted to show you this before I leave, the, uh, the base of this tree that the bear had climbed, where there's all this trampled vegetation in there. And again, I can't get in there because it's all tangled blackberry and stuff, but there's horsetail in there, equisetum, and there's a, a rough little path through here where the bears accessed it, and they basically trampled at the base of that tree, also because there are wild grapes over there to get to. So if you've ever eaten grapes, you recognize what I got in my hand. These are the stems left after the bear fed on the grapes. So here's a whole bunch of these. I'm below the tree. And so the bear ate the, the grapes, dropped the used stems down to the ground after it was done. So more feeding remains.